Primo's honey. Stream the language. Calling deer is all about timing. It's all about the time of year. It's all about when you do it, how often you do it. As the season begins, sometimes the deer aren't very responsive, but they're curious. So I like to use a bleat just every once in a while. Just letting deer know that you might not can see that are close to you, that there's a deer over there. And then a light grunt every once in a while. Not too aggressive, not too fast. That's going to be what you call tending grunt. We'll get into that in just a minute. But as the pre-rut comes, every buck knows what that can sound is. It is a doe in estrus, and they know every buck is paying attention. And I have seen them come on a dime many times. We've got so much footage of great hunts that were all brought about because of the can. So it's the pre-rut. Try the can. I usually deer stop, he's listening. If you can see them and you can time it when their head goes behind the tree, that's really effective because they've got to get past that tree to look at where the source is. Another thing, I try to climb a tree that's got some type of obstruction around it, a treetop, a cane thicket, a creek down below, anything like that that makes the deer hunt you. Remember, you can't hunt a buck where he is, you got to hunt him where he's gonna be. So, once again, Wait a few minutes, a few seconds, can again. And then make that sound of another buck defending a doe. That sound, with, along with that can, that estrus call, oh my gosh. I'm telling you, a buck sometimes will come so fast, you can't get your bow off your bow holder quick enough. And then the wheeze, Carries further. Let's say you got a buck 200 yards away. He's walking along. What you're gonna do? Try to get him to hear the grunt. He doesn't hear it. Wheeze at him. That sound travels further, and as soon as he hears that, he's gonna stop and turn that head. When he does, wait till he kinda figures something out, isn't looking quite straight at you. Let him know where the sound is coming from. Hopefully, you've climbed a tree with some kind of obstruction below you, so that deer's gotta get close enough to see the deer that's calling. He's got to hunt you. And then if you want to, throw in rattling horns or a rattling bag. Two deer that have just locked up, that are making a little bit of sound. They're more aggressive during the rut when they really are challenging each other. They're less aggressive early during the early, early part of the pre-rut. A lot of times smaller bucks will just put their horns together and just rattle. And remember, imagine a fight. A fight isn't constant rattling. A fight is quiet for a minute. They're pushing and shoving, and making sound in the leaves, breaking branches, and then the horns come by and back at it again. So just remember, adding any of these sounds or in combination during any time of the year can turn it around for you, but it's most effective during the pre-rut and the rut.